Hello, welcome to the latest episode of Driving With Dan. This is episode 42, not 52. I made a mistake when I uploaded the last two videos and I called them episode 50 and 51 when actually they were 40 and 41. My bad. Yes, no, it's 42 now. Uh, and the date today is the 8th of January 2019. You're probably thinking, wow, that was a long time since you uploaded a video like this. And yes, it was. It was actually last year. <laughs> Yes, no, it's 2019 now, and I wish you all had a good Christmas and uh, and a happy New Year as well. Um, but yeah, let's let's start straight away and say I hope you enjoyed the videos over Christmas and uh, New Year. Um, huge thank you to Dinosaur Juice for allowing us to you know experience the cars and stuff and have have a good time. So I hope you enjoyed that too, um, as it was a bit of fun. Anyway, onto the topics then today. Uh, since the last time we spoke, there was, of course, the news with Bloodhound, the record-breaking car which then ran out of money and wasn't going to be able to break the record anymore. Um, but that company well, went into administration and everything, loads of issues. They just needed a bit more money, and they've got it. Uh, well, at least the car's been bought uh, by someone in the north of England, I believe, that makes turbos, I think. Um, but hopefully they have enough money, I think it was £25 million that was required, uh, or estimated at least, uh, to get the car up to its 1,000 mile an hour record. Um, yeah, no, I, I do hope to see that all going through and no issues of money anymore. I really, really want to see that happening, and with schedules and everything, and all just to be perfect. Anyway, yes, that's all for the future. Next topic then is about the Land Rover Defender. Now there's been quite a few spine shots of it around now. They are fully into testing. Um, but the new shots are testing in America and it's not just for like hot weather testing or anything. No, it says on the side Defender like coming to America or something along those lines. So yeah, the, the new Defender will be for sale in America. Um, I guess to rival the Jeep Wrangler really. Uh, yeah, they've also sort of been rumours of a price now, uh, in America at least, and they're saying in dollars it's $55,000. So, um, yeah, that's quite a lot. I think sort of you would see, what was it? Defender old one got up to about £30,000 new, uh, which would probably be in dollars about 40000 So, yeah, it's a bit of a price jump. Which, you know, was was kind of expected, but not wished for. Um, and also, it's quite funny, they've lost the branding on the side that which said best 4x4 by by far. Um, yeah, for some reason they didn't stick with that for the American uh, American leg of their testing. <laughs> um, but, you yeah, know, really, really exciting to get the Defender back in America as well. Uh, I hope that improves their sales and helps them a lot as well. Um... Next topic then is about Lotus, and for their Christmas video, because of course this is the last time we spoke was way before Christmas, uh, yeah, for their Christmas video they had a uh, Lotus Evora doing some drifting with a Christmas tree stuck on the back. Um, here's a picture. There we are, there's a full video on YouTube. But yeah, no, uh, Evora 410 with a Christmas tree, it looks really nice, sounds really good, um... Can't argue with that. Well done, Lotus. So the next topic then after that is about Lamborghini. And they've got the Hurricane Evo. So think of the Hurricane Performante and you go, okay, yeah, that's quite a nice car, but I don't like the wing. I think the wing's a bit, a bit much. Uh, a lot of people do like the Hurricane the Performante, and I, I think it does. I think the base Hurricane is a bit... I don't know, I can't think of the word for it. But there's a new one, it's the Evo, and it looks brilliant. Here's a look. Yeah, so there you are, that's stunning. Look, really, really aggressive look. Um, that sort of wing on the back with a slight lip. So much better than the Performante. I really quite like the look of, look of that car, and engine-wise, Quite an interesting one because they haven't just gone for sort of a hurricane power, you know, they've gone straight from the engine from the Perth Mante is straight in that. So that's 631 brake horsepower, naturally aspirated V10, um, but it also features four wheel steer. 
um, which I believe is new. So yeah, that should be quite a fun car. I'm sure those that buy it will love it. I don't know how many numbers they're doing. I guess it's quite a low number production. Um, yeah, that's that. The Hurricane Evo. It's probably a special Italian way to pronounce that, but I can't do it. I'm not even going to attempt it. Um, yes, so then the final topic of today, actually been quite a quick video. The final topic of today has been about Jaguar Land Rover. Now, I read an article, I want to say it was Autocar, uh, online, where they were talking about... No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was someone's story. Uh, Land Rover photo album on Instagram. On his story, he linked to an article from someone, I've forgotten who, uh, that was talking about uh, record sales for Jaguar Land Rover in America, which is brilliant to hear, and I believe they had, they broke one of their records for December as well, or maybe it was higher than December last year. So on those lines, but yeah, an improvement for Jaguar Land Rover, I think, especially from the second half of the year, which is good to hear. Um, yeah, obviously uh, E-Pace doing well in America, I believe, and the F-Pace. Um, and, of course, the eye pace. So there seems to be a trend here with the paces doing rather well, which is brilliant. Um, still haven't heard much about the SVR, the F-Pace SVR. Like, how long has that been mentioned now? That's quite a while. I haven't seen any road tests or anything. So I do wonder what's going on with that car. That's just popped into my mind. Um, I was going to talk about something else as well. Yes. Today I just mentioned about um, TBR. So they, what was it? Oh, that's nearly two years now since they sort of started revealing the Griffith. Um, and you know that's gone very quiet. And I know they've had a lot of issues, I believe, with the Welsh government, um, because the sort of Welsh government were like, "Yeah, we're going to produce this brilliant or automotive section." of um, Wales, right down South Wales in the valleys, uh, called Ebu Vale. Don't actually know how to pronounce it. But yeah, there's this big industrial estate, which was it's a bit run down, nothing really there. And they said, we're going to make lots of stuff for cars. Brilliant. However, <laughs> nothing has happened there. And that's where TVR said, yep, yeah, we're going to build our cars here. I'm probably regretting that one because um, I think they started to get plans, designs for their factory and then no, they have, I don't think they've been able to get any contractors in, no facilities even built there yet. Um, there's just an old workshop from something from an old company which has been completely abandoned. So I think that needs completely tearing, around, tearing down and rebuilding this new factory. So without even having anything done, they won't be able to move in until summer if they start now, like which is such a shame. I really, really want to see more of that TVR. And, of course, for the people that have put the deposits in, I think it could be really putting them into a bad name if they won't be able to do anything, if they're just sitting there quiet. Um, so really, really annoyed to hear that, actually. Uh, I really wish them the best to get their cars out there because I think 5 to Cosworth V8, I believe, based on the Coyote engine from the Mustang, um, in a small body that looks stunning, and it's made by TVR in the south of Wales. Just sounds brilliant. But we just have to wait and see what happens, I suppose. Um, which is a shame. But all the best to them. I really hope to see them do well. Um, oh, also, Lister. I mentioned ages ago, probably about a year ago now, uh, when they started revealing their F-Type. Uh, what do they call them? LFTs. But they called them the Lightning before. I think they had the Lightning and the Thunder, based on the F-Pace and... F-Type. Um, yeah, they've just sold their first car, so they're making a limited run of 99, and car one has now gone out the door, which is brilliant, and it looks brilliant. It's in black with a yellow lipstick around the grill and stuff. Really smart. Have a look. Yeah, that's a good-looking car. Um, so that's good news. And that's about it for the today's episode. Apart from, I got a Christmas present, and I'm wearing it. Look. At that T-shirt, so I don't know if you can quite see it. There we are. It's a working drawing, and it's got Land Rover logo on it, and it's by Fat Face. Uh, it's a Land Rover official T-shirt. It's not they just made this T-shirt without any stuff about copyright and all. So it's got like a full working drawing in inches of the old Land Rover logo. Brilliant. Yes, yeah, very nice. So thank you to my girlfriend who bought me that. 
Um, and brilliant for Fat Face to make Land Rover stuff. Um, they've actually got quite a few Land Rover t-shirts now, because they used to do a lot of Volkswagens. Now they've got Land Rover ones. Brilliant. Um, yeah, so go and check them out. Um, there are official Land Rover products, so you don't have to worry about that. Yes, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you soon, if I upload another video soon. For oh, I can't even talk. I'm tired. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you go have a good day and stuff. Cheers! Cheers.